Hello guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to view the SQLite database contents in an Android virtual device. So here we have a simple Android application that contains some database operations. Here the application package name is com.blogspot.ecwaytowin.desktop and here the database name is productinfo.db and here the table name is product table and the table contain four, contain four columns. The first one is ID that is of integer type, second column name is name that is of text type, third column is price that is of integer type and final column is quantity that is also integer type. Now here I install this application on this virtual device. Our application name is desktop. Now I am going to run this application. So now I am going to add some product into the database. So click the add product button. First here I am going to add some product ID. I add 125 as product ID. Now we need to specify some product name. I specify the product name as keyboard. Now we need to specify some product quantity. I put a quantity 250. Now we need to specify some product price. I specify the price as 700 and click save. Now the data is saved inside the SQLite database. Now we are going to view the contents of that particular table available on this virtual device. For that, go to the device monitor. You can find out the device monitor on in the toolbar of Android Studio. Open up the device monitor. Now the device monitor is open. Now you need to find out the device name. Here there is only one device is available. So select the device. From this list you need to find out the application package name. Here our application package name is com.blogspot.ecwaytowin.desktop. So we have to find out that application package name. Here it is com.blogspot.ecwaytowin.desktop. Select that particular package name. Now at the right side of this window there is a file explorer. You need to select the file explorer. From the files you need to find out a folder called the data. Expand that particular data folder. Inside that folder you need to find out another folder called the data. From this folder, again, you need to find out the application package name. Here is the application package name. Expand that folder. In that folder, you can find out a folder called databases. Expand that folder. In that folder, here is the database name. Our database name is productinfo.db. You can find out the database here, productinfo.db. Now we need to pull out this database from the virtual device. So at the top of this window, here you can see another option called pull a file from the device. Select that option. Now you can save the database anywhere on this computer. Now here I am going to save the database on my desktop. Here the file name is productinfo and click save. Now I close this file explorer. Now I go to the desktop. Now the database from the virtual device is available on my desktop. Here is the file product info. Now you need to download some software for view the content of this data type. Open your browser and search for SQLite browser. Go to this website and you need to download DB browser for the SQLite database. 
here I use Windows 64 bit so I need to download the 64 bit version of this program you need to download the appropriate version of this program so I'm going to download the 64 bit version of this program now I download the program and install it in my computer now I'm going to open that program SQLite browser open the program SQLite browser now the database available in my desktop now here I am going to open the database inside DB browser for SQLite so select the option open database the database is available on my desktop and the file name is product info and click open now here is the database name product info DB here is our application information our database name is product info db here is the database name and the table name is product table and here you can see the table here product table now you can view the structure of the table that contain four columns id that is of integer type name that is of text type price integer quantity that is also integer type now you can browse the content of this table so select the browse data option and select the table name now here is the data available on this table I hope you understand the concepts thank you for watching